Gamers and game that's what is going on. My name is Tenek127 and welcome back to another Terra console video. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, one thing I do want to say is, as my time as an MMO based uh, YouTuber and, um, you know, who revolves more around like free to play games and stuff like that, one thing I've learned is that these videos can be very, very toxic cancerous and you know just either make a lot of people happy or piss off a lot of people so what we're gonna do today for um, answering the obvious question is Terra pay to win um, I'm not going to be putting my personal answer in this video I'm just going to lay down the facts go through a couple of things here and um, you the consumer and the viewers can decide for yourselves and you know just leave your thoughts and comments in the um, in the comment section section below but if you want my personal take on um, on pay to win me personally it's a game that blocks you from progressing a free to play game that blocks you from progressing by strictly forcing you to pay money or, or something like that that's my personal my personal definition of, of pay to win me personally I believe if you know if if you can buy it or grind it as long as there's you know a sensible way to grind it that won't take you your whole life that's that's fair that's just you know my personal my personal opinion but anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and talk talk a bit about Terra Terra here today and see if you know um, what you guys what you guys think so for starters I guess we'll go ahead and start by looking into the Terra store and talking about the elite status elite is basically a um, a uh, Terra's like VIP program it's roughly it's roughly between 12 and 15 dollars fifteen dollars a month depending on where you are in the world how you pay and stuff like that it can be as high as twenty depending on you know, if you like to do it strictly through EMP and stuff like that it, it, it all it all depends you know just on where you are in the world but I'm gonna say I said twelve between twelve and fifteen between twelve and twenty dollars a month depending on you know where you are in the world how you pay for it and all that fun stuff so we're gonna talk about the benefits EMP gives you it gives you a, a mount to summon which is no big deal you get a free mount in the beginning of Terra console you get a 100% gold hunter boost for an hour that you can use six times a day. A village atlas, which you can use to teleport anywhere. A travel journal, which you can save to teleport of five five different um, memorized or favorited locations. I just personally call them favorited. An elite gift box. We will go ahead and use mine for today, and I'll show you guys what's in it. A elite consumable box. We'll use that as well, so I can show you guys what's in it. Everfull Nordstrom. This is basically like a um, a temporary buff potion, as you guys can see. Increases power by 27%, endurance by 20, restores 13% MP every five seconds, decreases cooldown of attack skills by 15%, increases crit power, and increases attack speed of healers by 10%. So um, yeah, Velix Opportunity offers you an opportunity to enter the the Gilly Glade, which is like a mini dungeon in here or something like that. I've never actually even been to Gilly Glade yet, which is <laughs> kind of sad but I've just actually never got around to got around to doing Gilly Glade but um yeah those are the uh these are the items that you get for being being elite and of course you get a um a 100% XP boost at at all times when you're when you're elite so you're basically getting double XP 24/7 till level level 65 me personally I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, when it comes to XP boosts I personally don't care they're in they're in they're in every game. If someone hits you know level cap a little bit before you whoop dee dee. That that's my personal opinion on XP boosts. But now we'll go ahead into the Terra store, look at some of these things and stuff like that, and see if anything in here is really you know like pay to win ish really bad. So you got the featured section, which you know just features all kinds of sales, mounts, costumes, and and stuff like that. Everything here is for the most part pretty much cos cosmetic from what I can see all you know just garment bags loot boxes that give you even more cosmetic items and stuff like that mounts all kinds of fun goodies character slots wings you know just just all kinds of cosmetic stuff elite vouchers I'm so glad that um, they gave you the option to pay for um, elite using EMP too even though it costs a little bit more if you use EMP um, still, I'm, I'm glad that they gave that option because that was one complaint I did have when this game first came out. But um, let's go ahead and go over to like the loot boxes and services section because that that's really you know what's going to what's going to affect this video most. As we can all see, you know, um, costumes, 
accessories, weapon skins, mounts, and pets aren't really going to affect you. The pets, they have little benefits, you know, of like some of them give you more inventory space, some do a few extra things. But to my opinion personally, they're nothing really crazy. You know, it's just like as if you went and bought more inventory space. Hey, you bought a pet that gives more inventory space. So I don't think, you know, that's anything too harmful or damaging to my opinion. The next section we have is the consumables. For um, 495 EMP, you can get a, uh, an XP boost. Now, for those who don't know, and I'm sorry I didn't mention this before you can come to the store, the EMP is Terra's purchasable currency. You um, you earn a little bit of it daily if you um, if you uh, have a an, an elite subscription. But also, well, also you can just um, you can straight up buy it, and it also does come does come with like um founders packs promotional things that are on the playstation the xbox store and i'm pretty sure there's some promotions on the pc stores too as well there's there's a bunch of ways to get emp but usually you have to pay money for it now 100 percent xp boost for seven days i already told you guys how i feel about xp boost we have die which is just used to dye your cosmetic or actual gear enigmatic scrolls um extensive alcohese boxes Liberation scrolls, spell bind boxes, and strong box keys and traveler's insurance. Now these strong box keys are what's used to open these things called strong boxes, which can give you um, items used for end game gear upgrades and stuff like that. Now, in all fairness, like I said before at the beginning of this of this um of this of this video. Um, a lot of these things that are, are that are um, that are purchasable can be used on on both sides of the game. Now, these keys, there are people that sell you know these strong box keys and the um, the strong boxes themselves actually inside of the um, the trade broker, where you can actually buy them with in-game gold, which is a currency you can only earn in-game. So therefore, I personally don't think the the strong box keys are too big of a deal. Honestly, the drop rates on strong boxes are terrible, anyway. So I wouldn't even, you know, it's honestly not even enough material to take to take seriously. If you guys ask me, my personal opinion. But next, we'll go ahead down to the loot boxes. See how these are. Now, loot boxes. These, for the most part, are just you know purely purely cosmetic. I think in some of these, I think some of some end game farming materials can be can be um, dropped out of them but as you guys can see every single loot box is either focused on a weapon skin a mount a um some type of cosmetic cute accessory some type of pet you know there's nothing there's nothing here that says you know oh um super powered get you to end game loot box or you know anything <laughs> any anything like that and fine last but not least we're gonna go to the to this to the services additional character slots Elite status, we've already went over that. A level 60 scroll, which just gives you straight up a level 60 character. Um, me, me, me personally, that's that's not that's not too big of a too big of a crazy thing. Only only in games like this, because um, these are games where you have to make multiple, where you have to make multiple tunes or multiple characters, whatever you prefer to prefer to call them. And um, you may not want to play through the whole story or do that grind over and over and over again. So if you know just want to make another character for another class, you know, to help out your guild or something, you have the option to pay to do that. And it's not even to the full level cap; it's to level 60. So I don't know. That one's kind of that one's kind of arguable. I mean, it does get you to end game nearly instantly, besides five levels. But I don't know. I'll let I'll let you guys decide on on that one personally. The um, appearance change voucher just lets you change your appearance. Bank expansions expands your bank. Guild name change voucher change your guild name. Gender change voucher. Bank expansion more of those name change voucher and a race change voucher. And that's going to be it for the um for the for the Terra store. Now besides that, everything else in this game you have to purchase with gold, farm, doing dungeons and and all that fun stuff. So that's pretty much gonna um gonna go ahead and wrap this wrap this video up. But guys, let me know your honest opinion in the comments below. Do you guys think Terra is is pay to win? Do you guys think it's a perfectly fair 
fair cash shop system let me know what you guys think the only reason I wanted to make this video is because I get asked this all the time especially in my um first impressions video that I made back in the technical tests and beta times and and things like that and I just wanted you know get the community's opinion on it. want to know what you guys think but if y'all enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy Snack127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out, take care.